Hey everybody, welcome back to the old deer hunters. Today I'm working on new loads for my favorite coyote rifle. And that rifle is a Tika T3 243 Winchester shooting 70 grain bullets. Now for the last year or so, my favorite load for that rifle has been about 40 grains of IMR 4895 pushes a 70 grain nozzler ballistic tip or a 70 grain Sierra Blitz King at about 3,350 feet per second. But <laughs> it looks like that supply of IMR 4895 has just dried up. I mean, I, I can't find it anywhere. I can't, I've tried finding some on the, the trader through social media. Uh, I've uh, tried to, you know, buy it from uh, powder supply companies. It just, it just doesn't seem to be available. So I had to find something new. So I went through a lot of powders. I've, if you look at Hodgson or uh, any of the loading manuals, I like the Sierra. I like the Nosler, especially if you're shooting Nosler bullets, and it's good to to use this uh, Nosler manual. I think this one is the uh, number three. It's a little old, but for the powders I have, uh, it lists most of the velocities. And if you don't, you can go into the uh, Tyson's uh, Reloading Center on the internet and you can get just about every kind of load has been tested, you know, for every kind of rifle. Since that supply of 48.95 has pretty much dried up, I had to find something new. I tried a couple of the Reloader powders. I think uh, Reloader 19, Reloader 17. Um, I tried uh, Superformance, I tried uh, BLC2, I tried a lot of powders that's really supposed to be good for 243, but I could not find that, that formula that worked like 4895. My goal is to find a good, accurate load that'll shoot under an inch at 100 yards, that'll push a 70 grain bullet at about 33 to 3400 feet per second. Now that's not a max load. I mean, max load of 4895 will get you up around 35. But I wanted a mild load. It'd be easy on the cases. I didn't want, you know, flattened primers. I don't want to stretch my brass. I don't want to wear the brass out. I just want something that's easy on the rifle, easy to reload. And the best powder that I've found to replace IMR4895 is this Hodgson CFE223. Now, I know a lot of people use this powder for uh, loading uh, 223 Remington, and it, it does a great job on that too. I, I'm getting very high velocities in my 223 Remington also. But this this powder, I mean, it, it seems like it was made for a 243, just like IMR 4895. It, it shoots a 70 grain bullet at about 3,300 feet per second, even with a full grain below what Hodgson recommends as the max load for this CFE 223, I'm still getting 3,300 feet per second. It's very mild, the primers, the primers are not flat, I'm not stretching my brass, I'm not stressing my rifle, and that load, I mean, it will reach out there and, and touch a coyote. If you zero a 70 grain bullet out of a 243 at one and a half inches high at 100 yards, you can hold dead on a coyote out to 275 yards. Now, that's a flat shooting rifle. I know a lot of people is going to all these new uh, fancy calibers that's supposed to be so good, the 6.5s and everything. But this old 243 Winchester for coyotes is really hard to beat. So I just wanted to pass that information along to you. If you're stash of IMR4895 is running out, running low. This powder is a lot easier to find. So you can probably find that on some of the uh, local dealer shelves. So just wanted to pass it along to you. If you like a 70 grain bullet and a 243, this is gonna be a good friend. Thanks a lot for watching.